The annual Hopkinton High School Honors Art Show took place at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. The work of six very talented artists was on display. Um, so this is kind of a compilation of everything I've done kind of since going into high school. It's kind of, it's like a highlights reel, you could say. on display uh, that are close up and a couple of portraits as well that are both black and white and color matches. I took art lessons since I was really little. My grandma first got me into art when I was in like, first grade. But um, I've been taking lessons seriously and continuously for about three, three years now. So um, the two photography students, they're in here, Ivy and Patrick, they're both seniors who have been doing photography for like four years with me, and this is their second year in a row for the show, so I'm very proud of the work they've done. They have a lot of really high quality photography. It shows a lot of uh, technical expertise. and. Uh, and and also really, you know, sort of moving portraits, and so it's, it's really exciting to have you on the show. Um, so the four uh, studio artists that are here this evening are Maddie Mezzet, whose work is behind us, um, who started drawing, I guess, when she was in seventh grade and decided she was no longer interested in being a painter. So some of her work has been made in class, and some of her work has been made outside of class over the course of an extended period of time, and she's kind of put into this exploration of uh, Really texture is what I think it's been really about. She's obviously a lover of animals, but um, I think her work has really kind of risen to that level. So we're trying to push her in different directions and get her to um, think about what it is that these animals mean to her and uh, you know, what she wants to say with her work. And then Linnea is the artist with the cut paper work. Um, and she's just a really thoughtful, um, interesting kid with real personal vision. All of these students, I would say, at this point, um, from Celia to Stephanie to Lene and to Maddie, um, have gotten to the point where they're able to say something really personal with their work um, and to decide what materials it is that help them to best communicate whatever it is that they want to say. Um, and it's really just a pleasure to kind of be their art guide and guide them through that process. And how long did that one take you to do? Oh, um, I was sitting down at my desk for about five weeks um, for like maybe five hours a day. Uh, so the main one that I think has another meaning uh, is the one of the two, the two high schoolers, I guess, that are resting their heads upon both their shoulders. And for me, that photo really means like unison and finding uh, someone to, to talk to and just have someone to care about. You know, I actually set a timer for this one, <laughs> and then after 20 hours, I forgot to reset my timer again, so, I don't know, probably around 35, 35 hours, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, how long do your pieces typically take? Typically, like, a normal-sized one, you know, like, around, like, 11 by 12 or something, usually 15, 15 hours. 
like a detailed uh, pencil drawing. Well, how do you like seeing your pieces hanging up in the HCA? Um, it's really cool. I've never had this happen before, so I'm really lucky that I was one of the kids chosen to have my work up, and I'm fortunate to be next to such other amazing artists. Honestly, it feels amazing. It was just a lot of work, like getting them ready and matted and hanging them. And like, just tonight, it feels amazing that it's all done and just finished.